and welcome back guys to a new Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the new ban API that Roblox just released recently, although I kind of made this video late. So basically this is a new method uh, in the player service. So if I go to the documentation here, uh, if you go to the player uh, service documentation, you can look at all of these new methods. There's, um, you can look down here, the ban is saying. So this function actually allows you to ban people uh, from your game uh, before the, this there's actually no way to actually ban uh, there's no built-in method that actually lets you do this so this is actually pretty cool because um, before you had to use like data store uh, to actually store all the banned players so now there's this new version that actually makes everything so much more easier so i'm going to be going over a really quick overview on how this works um, and i will make tutorials on how you can implement this soon but i'm just going to go over this and uh, just make some quick scripts on how you can actually use it. So basically, uh, there's this config file uh, that you have right here. So to do this, actually, before anything, let's just make a quick script here. Uh, okay, so let's go to a script. Uh, the first thing we need is a player service. So local players equals game get service players. And to ban the, uh, a, a certain player, the first thing you need is a dictionary uh, of like, I guess you can say properties. So you can do players then ban a sync, but you can't just ban the player uh, just by typing their name. Like for example, my name is this. Uh, you have to make a dictionary. So let's do old config and then set this to a dictionary here. And then the dictionary will be found here on this code that I showed you, right? So there's different aspects. So it, it kind of explains right here. So first you have the user ID uh, that you want to ban. And this is an array, so it can be multiple people. Apply to universe is whether or not you want to ban the player from all the places in the universe itself in the game. Uh, duration, display reason, and private region, re reason that will uh, not be shown to the player and exclude all counts. So I'm not sure what this, how they do that. Uh, it might be an IP or hardware ban. Uh, but what you can really do is copy this and, uh, you don't really need, uh, this, the typing, uh, the type, uh, but basically for the ID, uh, and a quick way to get the idea of the player. So do local player ID, like as a variable and set this to players and then get user ID from name. So I can put a name here like this, a username. And you can get the ID from the player's name. And that's why there you have the player ID. Duration. This will be measured in seconds as shown in the, um, as shown in the uh, documentation. For example, a minute would be 60 seconds. Hour would be minute times 60. And local day would be equals to 24 times an hour. Um, this is just to give you an idea how this works. So let's actually do a minute here. And the ID would be like my ID. So we're going to test it on ourselves. And you can put the display reason that will be shown to the player. So this can be, you have been banned for breaking the rules. Okay. And this one, you can put anything that you want on record, but this won't be shown to the player. It's little all accounts, let's do true. Uh, so this is like either a hardware or IP ban or both. Uh, I don't know. Apply to universe is going to be applied to all the places in the game. So if you have like other uh, games, like other maps, you know, in the in the game, uh, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you want to ban someone, uh, usually it's going to be, this is going to be true. A bans from all the places, all, all these children uh, places of the game. Okay, so now you can do this. Uh, now they use the success uh, pcall function, which I don't think you really need. Um, but you can, why not? So, so instead of players use uh, our variable right here, like this, don't need that. And config, so this will ban us uh, for a certain period of time, which would be one, only, only one minute. Um, but, uh, when I try this, from my experience, this doesn't work on studio. So you have to kind of play the game, uh, for the band to actually work. 
and let's do like a wait five or wait four okay and make sure your game is saved and published like this and then let's go to our actual game here let's go to our actual game okay so there's a band tutorial my game that i published right here and let's see if this would work so it's gonna wait four seconds and we're gonna get banned all right so this is the first ban we got so if we actually uh join this game again so let's Fresh. Now, actually, let's go back to studio and remove this part here. We don't want to keep on banning myself because we already banned it once. That's all it needs. And so let's play this. Publish this again. And then play this. So now, before I even join, it will already detect that I'm banned. As you can see. And it says, you're banned for one minute. Here's the message from the creator. You have been banned for breaking the rules. And that's pretty much it. So pretty simple overview this is this ban async now obviously there's an unban async unban async function and i think by the way i think just means asynchronous so it would um run at the same time as the other uh uh like task of the script now this config config for this the arguments you pass for this would just be two properties uh so it would just be user ids that you want to unban and whether or not it applies to universe, which is um, which usually be true, but uh, whatever. So we'll go back to the game. And let's call this unbanned config. Okay. So play ID, which is my play ID. Let's change this to true. We don't need this, I don't know. We don't need the type. Okay, so if we go back here, Oops, what happened? What did I just do? Okay, that's so weird. So instead of this, we'll go on here and do unban async. Right? Um, and that worked. But since I made it temporary, um, it's not going to matter. Because uh, I would have been unbanned by the minute. Um, now, of course, actually, I just realized I forgot to tell you uh, a permanent ban would just be negative one by the way uh, i don't know i forgot i forgot to tell you uh so where is this ban sync so ban sync right here uh negative one would be permanent uh so it would never reach that amount um so here if i put a negative one now i don't want to ban myself because i tried that last time and i couldn't unban myself um so it's kind of weird how it works so someone else has to unban you. Um, not you can't be you can't be yourself. So it would only work if it's like an alt account. Uh, but I know that's just from my experience. But uh, yeah. So unban unbans the person. The same config. Um, so I'm gonna make a video on this soon. How to make an admin UI panel. How to implement this. So if I go back to here, it should it should unban me at this point. The duration already passed. So um. So we'll go back. Okay, so now I can fully freely play this game. Pretty cool. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Pretty quick, pretty fast tutorial. Um, I will make a video soon on the implementation of this, how to make a GUI, and you can put like the duration, username, and blah blah blah. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. It's gonna come real soon. Uh, hopefully. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did. Leave a like and subscribe and join our Discord if you're interested. I'll see you guys in the next one.